A new initiative between Indiana State Police and IMPD is working to crack down on reckless driving on an even bigger scale. It's taking aim at more than just speeders or distracted drivers. City leaders, Metro and State Police met today to announce their efforts already underway. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli shares some of the results so far and the plans to ramp things up even more. Traffic issues has resulted in what I believe is an impact of violent crime in our city. That's part of the reason IMPD and state police are working to target street racers and aggressive drivers. This on top of the district by district approach by IMPD aimed at dangerous driving. I have constituents who tell me they refuse to drive on 38th Street. What happens in one community truly affects all communities. In the Crown Hill neighborhood along 38th Street, a ghost bike serves as a reminder of the lives lost along the corridor. It's important that 38th Street is treated as though it's a street in a neighborhood and not used as a drag strip. While grant and federal funding will help police try to put the brakes on illegal racing, state and metro police are targeting those organizing and hosting parking lot spinning events. Unfortunately, these events will then spill out to our public streets. Police say these spinning events typically involve stolen cars, also involved in other illegal activity and violent crime. We received several reports from residents. We received several videos of these uh, vehicles losing control at these events and actually striking onlookers. Here at Riverside Park, you can see the tire marks in the parking lot. ISP said just last weekend they partnered with IMPD and park rangers after a group of people were doing burnouts in this parking lot just feet from where kids were playing on the playground. We ended up arresting several people had several stolen cars and recovered several guns, including a fully suppressed MAC-10. Since March 2022, IMPD and ISP have taken at least 67 stolen vehicles and 17 guns off the streets. They've arrested 26 people, including three accused in murders, and seized different types of drugs. We need you to help us do better, be better, and drive better. Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News.